So I made all of these zipper pouches, aka cosmetic bags, and they're, you can do them a variety of ways. I have different sizes. We have the smalls, uh, medium, and large. The one I'm showing you today is this large one. Um, I'll have the sizes in some printed instructions that you can download down in the description. Um, this one is a large, and the zipper pouches, you can add a label on them. And you can do, this one is just made with one fabric plus a lining. This medium, uh, you can also add embellishments on them. I just added a little piece of lace and sewed it on. You can embroider names on there. That's real nice. Or put an initial and monogram it for somebody. Or just put a little picture on their embroidery. Uh, this one has a zipper pull on it. I added one and it's got a little sewing machine on there with jewels on it. These two are uh, small and they have the corners are boxed in one inch instead of an inch and a half like these are. This is an inch and a half and this is an inch and a half. These are just one inch across there. I made a little zipper pull. I'll have that in the instructions also. And um, added little handles so the little girls can carry them around for a purse if they want to. And then I put the label on different sides on both of these unicorn ones. These are the same size of bag. It's a small, but the corners are boxed in an inch and a half. Like on the medium and the large. And you can put material across this way. You can put material across up and down, however you want to do it. And you can also do strips of material like scraps, like jelly rolls, and quilt it. You can put batting behind it and quilt it and then cut out your pieces out of that. All different ways. Okay, let's get started with the instructions. We're going to start at the end of the zipper, not where the head is, and we're just going to cut it off. And then we're going to take one of our little tab pieces that we made, and we're going to slip it over the end. And we're going to go over to the machine and we're going to stitch it right along the edge. Right through the zipper teeth. Make sure you have a nylon zipper, not a metal one. We're going to trim the ends off. Trim your threads off. Okay, next you're going to open your zipper up and you need a half an inch at each end. I'm going to put that right on a half inch. See where I need to cut it. And my half inch line is right there. And I'm going to slip my little piece on the end. And I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew that. 
while the zipper's open. So I've got it pinned. I'm going to take my pin out. And you want to make sure you caught both sides in there. And you want to test your zipper. That works. And next we're going to clip off our edges. And trim your thread. Okay, we're going to take our outer piece and we're going to take our zipper and we're going to put it the zipper face down at the top and we're going to be one half inch in from each side. We're going to pin that down. And then once we have that, we're going to take a lining piece and this has the interfacing on the back, but the lining, then we're going to put it face down over the top of that. And then just take out your clips or your pins and repin that. You want all those raw edges even. We've got our zipper undone and we'll have to, when we get down close to it, when we're sewing, we'll have to move that zipper head up and get it out of the way so we can continue sewing. Now you can use your zipper foot on your machine or you can just move the needle over when you're sewing. Okay, here is a zipper foot that you can put on your machine. I'm just going to use my regular one and move my needle over. I moved it over to the left 1.5 and then you're just going to stitch down. Back stitch. Now with your needle down, you want to raise your presser foot up. You're going to reach in there and you're going to pull that zipper head back. Past your needle. And it'll lay fat, flat and you can get in there.
go. Okay, we're going to do the other side now. We're going to lay the zipper face down. We're going to come in one half inch on both sides. Pin it or clip it. We're going to lay the lining face down, clip it in there. We're going to take it over to the machine and sew it close to the teeth. Okay, I still have my needle moved over. It's taking about of a fourth inch seam. I'm going to leave the needle down. I'm going to move that zipper head out of the way. I can find it. And raise your presser foot. Easier said than done. Done. Press your seams back from the zipper real good on both sides. Next we're going to top stitch it down and make it decorative on the outside. And you just want to go right here on this tab. So we're going to start right there and we're going to back stitch and go across that seam again to reinforce it. You don't want to go all the way out to the end or you'll catch your lining out here where you need to sew it. So I still have my needle moved over. I'm going to back stitch it. I'm going to lay that needle down, raise the presser foot, and move my zip out of the way. Going right on the inside of that tab. If you have a metal zipper, make sure you jump over it or zigzag it into the teeth. Keep making sure my lining is pulled under. Isn't that pretty? Next, I have marked the center of my bag right here, 
and I've got the lining up out of the way and I'm just going to sew a little label onto my bag. You can get labels and then you can put them over off of the edge out of the seam and now would be the time to add those. But I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to move it down just a little bit. Try to get it centered straight on there. And I'm going to sew that label on. Okay, next we're going to put the line, the right sides together. And we're going to pin it all the way around. And you're going to have the right sides of the lining together. Okay, and right here, you're going to have that tab across there. So you want to kind of fold that tab in half and you want to point it towards the lining and then match up your seams. You're not going to sew over that tab. And one of the most important things is you need to unzip your zipper before you start sewing this at least a little more than halfway. Just make sure your seams match on the top. And again, you have that little tab in there and you want to point it towards the lining and match your seams up. Okay, before we go over and sew all the way around, we're gonna, if you wanna box your corners, this is where you would do it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna box them an inch and a half on each corner. and you will not sew across those. You'll just sew right down to here and then start over here on this side. Well, can you seem to cut it? Was hanging on for dear life. And you also want to box the corners of your lining. So just make sure they're all still lined up. Take these and throw them over your shoulder. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go stitch a quarter inch seam. I'll probably go more like three eighths of an inch and go all the way from here to here. We are gonna leave an opening in our lining, okay? At least a three inch opening so that we can turn it. So I'm gonna move these here and remember to not sew there. Okay, I'm going to start on the bottom side on the lining because I don't want to forget to leave that opening. Okay. 
I'm doing a 3 8 inch seam. Leave about a three or four inch opening. Just make sure your ridges are even. We're going to be careful not to catch that little tab in there. We've got all of our edges cut out and it's time to box it now. So what we're going to do is just open it up. And you're going to put those together with the seam together. I like to nest the seam so I point one one way and one the other. And we're going to nest them and then we're going to sew across all four corners. You can open the seams if you want to, instead of nesting them. This lining side's kind of stiff because it's got that interfacing in there. The heavy duty. I just said duty. <laughs> hmm. love this machine because I can just punch a button and it cuts the thread for me. So now all my corners are boxed and I still have that opening to turn it in. I might wish I'd have left that a little bigger. Okay, next you're going to take it and turn it right side out. Oh, I can't wait to see it. You want to push out your corners. And push out your top where your little tabs are. And before we push that lining back in, you want to take it and sew the opening closed in the lining. So what we're going to do you can either hand stitch it if you want, but it's inside in the lining, so I'm just going to turn under my seams and go sew about an eighth of an inch across that lining. Okay, so I just sewed that little seam across there. Now our opening is closed. So let's close up the bag. We'll stuff the lining in can stuff the edges down in there in the boxed corners. Ta-da! Aren't those little corners cute? It doesn't bunch up and stuff if you add these little tabs across there. I really think that's important. And um, you can add a little zipper pull on here that makes it really cute. See your boxed in corners. Yay! Thanks for watching.